I think that there will be things about everyone, including Martin, including Kate, that you are surprised about. Hello, how are you? I'm good, how are you? Good, it's so great to meet you. Um, this is quite an interesting show. I know that you have done a lot more comedy driven stuff in the past. Is that yeah. one of the reasons you maybe wanted to take on this show? Yeah, it definitely different? was. Yeah, I think, um, you know, I've been very lucky to be able to like live in these very funny, uh, you know, playful shows, these worlds that there is not a lot of trauma, but it was, I think, time to kind of expand and, and, and dive into something a little, a lot more tough and, and, and serious. And then I, like, I read the script and I just was like, I'd not, I'd not read a, a story like this and, you know, a story not, that isn't told linear that, you know, jumps from year to year that you don't know who to trust, you know, and, and, and also I think it was really uh, refreshing to read a script that deals with this subject matter, but doesn't, you know, glamorize it at all. Like it's, it truly is showing the, like the bad, you know, the real bad version of it. And um, I feel like <clears throat> Martin is such, such an interesting character. And with shows like this, I don't know how much they give you when you go in to either audition or even start the show. I imagine you get kind of scripts as you go along. How much did you know going into this character? Um, did they let you in on anything so that you could form him? Or did you kind of learn as you went along? It's a little of both. I definitely knew more than what was on the page. Um, I think because, I think I was able to learn a little bit more than some of the other characters. I think just because of the subject matter that we were dealing with, um, we being Olivia Holt and I's characters, um, we got to know a little bit more because they wanted to know, basically they wanted us to know where, how much trauma was happening, how much abuse, how much, you know, what was, what was going on in the, uh, in the basement and and I think um but yeah it was it was definitely an, an open dialogue as as we would get scripts um Olivia and I and the writer would uh zoom and we would discuss kind of everything and, and get into the the mind space of where where the characters were at that time so it was it was a little both we I knew a, a bit before but it was mostly figuring it out as we went along and what was it like establishing you know having Olivia as an acting partner, you also obviously interact with a bunch of other characters too, but she's kind of the main one that your character is with. And she's such a nice person that I feel like it's hard to be <laughs> mean to her, even though you're not, we haven't really seen you be real mean at this yeah, point yeah, yeah. because, you know, we're, we're getting to that progression, but yeah. she must be such a, a great person to work with. She is such a pro. It was, it's unbelievable. She is one, she's just so talented. She's been working since she was a kid. And I think her she has such a professionalism that is just, she sets this tone on set that is just, it's an incredible place to play. She's creative and she wants to, uh, she she does the work. So she shows up like ready to work as do I. So we, we worked really well together, um, but it was hard. It was really hard to go to these dark places. And, you know, I think, she and I would constantly check in with each other in between takes, you know, it's like, are you okay? Is that, you know, what, and we would discuss kind of what we were feeling in the moment and how far we wanted to push things. It was a, it was a constant dialogue between her and I and the director of each episode. So it was, uh, it was tough though. It's really hard. I mean, there was literally like days where you're just like headphones on and trying to just stay in it because you know, on a set, there's a lot of distractions. So we were just trying to just be as focused as possible. And because you want, I think when we are dealing with such a heavy subject matter, you want to treat it with respect and you want to, you want to do it, uh, you want it to come off authentic, you know? And so I think we were very, very, uh, we were just very careful the whole time. We wanted to do it right. And I feel like you have to have that balance on set 
even behind the scenes, obviously a pretty heavy show, but you all seem to be like a huge family, especially because you're also on location yeah. coming in Texas. Plus there's the whole pandemic. So totally. you really can only be with each other. So how did you guys keep it light more behind the scenes? We would do a lot of like game nights and Dallas has the most insane food, Tex-Mex. We would have these like Tex-Mex queso, you know, uh, taco parties. And and it was just like the, you know, the core cast, the eight of us. And we, we became this family. Like, you know, we were there for six months in Dallas and it was, it was really, it was the right way to do this show. You know, I think that there's a, most of the shows I've done have shot in LA weirdly. And so, you know, I go to work and I come home and I have, you know, my friends here, but it was like there, it was like, we were, we were a family and we had to uh, just rely and lean on each other. And, and it was really, really great. I think it, I think it helped the chemistry in the show between all of the characters so much because we were able to build a relationship on and off screen. I definitely agree when it comes to the chemistry. This cast is is amazing. Um, I feel like if I was to do a period piece or if I, you know, happened to go back in time, I I would love to go back to the 90s. It's when yeah. I grew up, I imagine it's it's pretty fun for you too. Yeah. What was it like going back and, you know, they had to dig out Walkmans, they had to dig yeah. out the clothes, the, the music. The clothes, like, oh my gosh, yeah. it's crazy. Well, I was, you know, I was actually just talking about this. The the uh, the music was one of the things I was most nostalgic about because, you know, we, we got these um, Spotify playlists that were made for us, you know, 93, 94, 95. And it's like, it's just crazy how you remember every word to these songs, you know? And, and, and they were like, music was the best. I think 90s music was the best. And so uh, that was really cool. And then also, yes, to see like a Walkman or, uh, to wear jeans that were like up to here, you know, like up on your waist with like in baggy and just like, I don't know, clothes fit so weird back then, but it was, it was fun to, to relive all of that for sure. It was cool. And like at, at one point Harley had a, she's uh, filming something in a scene and her, the camcorder is like <laughs> this big, you know, she was like, what is this thing? <laughs> You know, but it's, I was like, everything was a lot bigger back then. But also slowly things are all coming back. And I feel like even iPhones are getting bigger at some point. We so might be back to that size. That giant gray cell phone yeah. my dad used to have. Right? Yeah. The same by the bell phone, you know? Totally, totally. Uh, uh, this show, everybody seems to have a ton of theories. I want, you know, there's, there's theories on Reddit. There's all kinds of things. Have you paid attention to those? And as you went along with the show, did you even come up with kind of your own theories and get surprised by some of the things that happened? Yes. Yeah, so uh, there's a group text between uh, the cast and uh, the showrunner, Tia, and the producer, Michelle. And there's constantly, you know, people will send little things that they find online. And so one of the things that they've sent was this, the theories. And it's so fun to read them because, I mean, people have great ideas. Like I'm like half of these Reddit users, I'm like, you need to be TV writers. These are fantastic. But also some of them are kind of like, there's been like one or two that are like, oh, they that's pretty accurate. You know, it was, it was, uh, it's been neat to read, but then some are way off. There's absolutely some that you're like, what? No, this is insane. Um, but the, uh, yes, I think throughout the show, the cast, we were constantly like, you know, trying to figure out who was telling the truth. The whole, up until truly the last episode, we were like, what's it gonna happen? Like, did she see her? Did she not? Like, I don't know. Like it was, it was fun to, to, we were just questioning it the whole time. It was great. Like it's they they kept us waiting literally the whole time. I feel like you're probably even lying now and we're not even gonna get all the <laughs> answers be. until season two. There better be, be one. <laughs> um, and last question, that ending, okay. <laughs> Start Wait, to explain. Me, what's the ending? Remind me the ending. Um, so it's when uh, Kate comes to your house because she's kind of Oh, yes, her. yes, yes. So yes. that was like, what? So yeah. what can you actually tease <laughs> now that we kind of have this bit of information if anything? Yeah, I think that that was a shocking thing to read and I'm sure for viewers to see her come to my house uh, after her mom 
and her have that argument. Um, I think that what I can tease is that I think that there will be things about everyone, including Martin, including Kate, that you are surprised about throughout. Like I, literally until episode 10, like you will, moments like that will will continue to pop up. So you, you won't, won't be able to won't guess really what know what's going, yeah, yeah, yeah. I know, which is so frustrating, but it's also so great. It makes it fun though, because yeah, then yeah, it's yeah. like, we have something to look forward to and it gives totally. us something to think about throughout the week. You know? For sure, for sure. Awesome, well, thank you so much for taking the time. Congrats on the show, I'm obsessed with it and I thank really do need so a season much. two, so. Thank you so much. Um, it was good to meet you.